This presentation is to demonstrate 5G automation test software ATS with MT8000A and MT8821C for RF parametric measurements. My name is Alan Legaspi and I'm a field application engineer with Anritsu Company. We will be going over MT8000A and MT8821C 5G non standalone configuration, LTE 5G sample measurements, ATS test tool a brief demonstration, and ATS-supported 3GPP test cases. MT8000A and MT8021C 5G non-standalone configuration. On the top, we have our control PC, which will also house our automation test software ATS. The control PC drives the MT8000A as well as the MT8821C. All are connected via IP address with a network hub or a switch. Onto the left, the MT8821 generates the LTE signal, and on the right, the MT8000A generates the 5G signal. Both signals can be either conducted or radiated onto the device that's being tested. LTE 5G sample measurements. These are samples of our RF parametric measurements from a manual test perspective. On the left, we have LTE RF parametric measurements, and on the right, we have 5G RF parametric measurements. ATS test tool. After setting your test parameters, you would select add plan as to load your test case as well as the path loss, and then select Run as to execute your test case. Here's a brief demonstration of actually running a test case. We have here the ATS plan editor under the instrument settings where we would set the MT8000 as well as the MT8821C to give you MT8000A non standalone mode. So you can test within this certain mode. Then we have our environment settings where we would enable, disable our features here. We would, under our initial parameters, give power levels to our MT8000, our path loss, and on the right over here, our recall settings, we would enable or disable our saved parameter files for MT8000A or MT8821C. Here we have our test plan settings where we would set our LTE or NR bands, 5G bands. We would set our subcare spacing. We would set our channels, our bandwidth. Please remember that this is based on 3GPP spec to where all of our channels are predefined, as well as we would set our test case to be tested. As well as our modulation scheme. We would save all of our all of our parameters below. We would load the case, we would select the path loss and we would execute the test case. As we execute the test case, LTE is connected, 5G is connected, and the test case currently is running. Our test case is set, and now we're waiting for our test results. And we have a past test case for test case 6.3B.1.3 for UE minimum output power for inner band. ENDC within FR1. Here are our test cases which are supported ATS 3GPP test cases for 3GPP spec 38.522. Thank you very much.